So let's try class problem number three, which is a problem involving a pipe with one end closed and one end open. It's on page nine of your chapter seven notes. The question says, a closed organ pipe has a length of 8.67 times 10 to the negative one meters. What is the fundamental frequency of this pipe? What is the frequency of the first overtone of this pipe? And see what is the frequency of the second overtone of this pipe. So I've done a little drawing here of the pipe in question, where we have one end all closed off and one end open. So a couple things to note. First off, we know we need an anti-node at the open end and a node at a closed end. We also know that the formula for this, Fn, will be nv over 4l, where n can only be 1, 3, 5, 7, etc. Odd numbers. And we know that v is 340 meters per second, the speed of sound in air, and l is going to be 0.67 meters. Okay, so with that in mind, let's calculate the fundamental frequency. Part a is n equals 1. So f1 will be v over 4L, or 340 meters per second, divided by 4 times 0.867 meters. If I do that, that's going to be 98 hertz. I round it off. F1 is 98 hertz. That's it. Simple calculation. Now, let's look at B. B asks for the first overtone. But you'll notice there is no n equals 2, so the first overtone that's allowed is n equals 3. So F3 will be 3V over 4L, or 3 times F1, which gives you 294 hertz. The second overtone is the next allowed frequency. So it's not n equals 4, because that can't exist. It will be n equals 5 which will be 5v divided by 4l, or 5 times f1, which is going to give you 490 hertz. So the big thing when doing these types of problems is knowing do you have an open-ended pipe at both ends or closed at one end. That will give you the formula to solve for it.